Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with old Kazrak the One Eye. That's right, old Kaza. Old Kaza, me boy. So, uh, yes, also we're in ambush, so hopefully we'll ambush some of these guys. Um, if they see us, they might run away, honestly. If not, we might ambush one of these armies, and um, if not, they may attack um, our boy here, old uh, Faldart Graveshaker, and uh, we'll reinforce. That might be, might be how it goes. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Also, um, yeah, Marienburg, old uh, Reisard Pappenheimer is running around, which is um, good for him. Good for him. This place sucks right now. So, you know, if that's how he wants to do this, that's fine. Yeah, Chaos Corruption is is big. It's big. We're, we're really doing a number on it. Oh, the Mirror Moors look so cool. Very cool indeed. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's end the turn, see what the hell happens. Come here, boys. Oh, he's walked around. That's not a good sign. Oh, they walked around our allies there. Did did they see us or not? I really don't know. I can't tell if they were avoiding us. If they saw the ambush avoiding us, they're just avoiding our buddy. Who was, you know, basically blocking their way to get ambushed. Hmm. Uh, Non-aggression pact. They want money. No. If you want to attack me, I'll attack you. So, the lair of a Jabba Slyth, a mutated and horrendous abomination, has been found. With the creature still within, we could harness this beast to bolster the herd and risk madness, or leave it to its abominable rest. So, uh, the Jabba Slyth has a thing where, um, basically it causes madness. It is, it is such a horrific being of chaos that it just corrupts everything nearby. It drives people insane, partly with its appearance, and partly just because it's, like, it's just a hotbed for chaos. It's, it's... It's a horrible creature. So, um, even to us, even to us, don't lick a toad. Uh, it does have a big, like, toad, like, tongue. You know, the whole, like, snatching flies out of the air thing. It does have a tongue attack. So, you know. And it does make people hallucinate and go crazy. So, you know, it's, it's a thing. Uh, so, anyway, summon the beast. Uh, so this will, uh, if we battle it, although the battle against the Jabba Slyth has greatly improved your troops' experience, the beast nevertheless turns some of them mad. So Bestial Rage goes down, because our Brayherd will disappear, but it'll give our armies, um, yeah, to all recruits, it'll give them all bonus experience, which is quite good. But I don't really want this to go too low and me lose that army. So I'll leave the creature be. Uh, we do not need this bizarre curio to win the day. Our enemies are uncloven fools and will be rendered by our power alone. Exactly. That and a rogue Jabba Slyth. I mean, a Jabba Slyth could easily destroy a town. So, you know, it's no, um... Yeah, it's no biggie. Just leave it be and let it do its thing. It'll definitely still help us out too. So, let's go with uh, the Amber Spear. Nice against armoured targets. Um... So sadly, I think I think our job here is to backtrack, guys. I think we're going to backtrack. So how's this one looking? Pretty rubbish, Garrison. Good. It's my favourite kind. Hello, Volga von Hassel. What a Volga Hassel. Hassel Volga. Volga von Hassel. Just attack it, Janet. All right. Okay. So. Very cool. I've got to say, the water here looks better than it does in Warhammer 2 most of the time. Water has gone through so many iterations in Warhammer 2. It's really weird. But here, it just looks nice. It looks... It doesn't necessarily look realistic, but it looks like resin. So, it's got that Warhammer tabletop modeler's look to it. You know what I mean? It looks like resin has been dropped into the landscape more than it actually looks like water. Um, but anyway, I think it's lovely. I think it looks nice. Uh, but yeah, water in Warhammer 2, just, it, it's had some weird iterations. It seems to evolve all the time. Like, you can usually tell just the edges of, uh, you know, streams and things. Just have, like, a weird thing about it. Oh, like this. This, I think, is a puzzle. A puzzle? A puddle. And it's going mental. In a totally different way to how Warhammer 2's water goes mental. But yeah, water is a weird thing in this game. It's definitely something that I'd love to see, like, vastly improved upon for uh, Warhammer 3, like in a big way. It always it always seems to be doing something weird. Okay. So let's get them locked and loaded. 
You guys can charge in. And... I actually left you over there. My bad. Anyway, you lot run in. And... You lot can all push forward too. Good. Good stuff. In fact, a couple of you can go over there. Good. Love it. Alright, let's get the Brace Shamer to move up. Let's get everybody to move up. Come on, boys. Come along now. To the ramparts. To the wall. Till the sweat drops down my halberd. Come on, lad. Ooh. They seem to be clustering up. You really need to get a move on, mate. Come on. I can't wait till I get a chariot for him. Really can't. Look at it, so close. So close. Just come on. Come on, it'll be four units. And. Hooray! Four units hit by Flock of Doom. On walls. Wow. Also, are you not in range? You're not in range. Flip an egg. Ridiculous. Anyway, you guys, get up there. Come on. Okay, good he is. Let's really take the time, huh? Can't believe hit that many. Should've just overcasted it, you know. Like, the extra range would've been nice. Everything would've been nice, honestly. Well, ah, now you shoot. Good. Yeah, let's, um... Yeah, screw it. Let's, let's overcast. Let's overcast. Might as well. Not gonna get me kills, sadly, with old, uh, what's his name. But, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Although, I think we did manage to damage ourselves there with a the miscast. So there is that. Alright, let's give you some extra armor. I'll triple your armor as you keep going. Good. And you know what? You guys keep pushing this way. Okay, I want you guys to run through. Just barge through. Okay, good. And now charge back. Not much of a charge, but still. There's definitely more of you in contact now, so it's all good. And, oh, we don't have the winds and magic. Never mind. This, uh, you know what, you stay where you are, actually. I think we'll have army losses soon. Yeah, it's just, um... Have you gotten through? Not yet. Got it. Yeah, we just need to run into the middle. Get those crossbowmen. I'll charge these halberdiers first. Will I? I think they'll probably come back. So I kind of want them dead. Right, come on, guys. Alright, let's leave them to it. They'll probably come back, but by then I think we would have done a number on these crossbowmen and won the day. Come on, guys. Pathfinding was causing me issues over there. Okay, come on. Come on. Keep running. These guys keep slowing down. I don't like it. Really, still being a bit shit. Come on. Come on, guys. Learn. Learn from your mistakes. Learn, learn from your tripping over each other. Learn from that lovely straight line you ran in a second ago. And just more of that, yeah? Okay, good. There we go. This I like. This is going well. This I like. Really just running over a bunch of humans. That's what I like to see. Okay, excellent. Now, when you turn back and attack these halberdiers. It does say they're broken, but do we trust that? I reckon they'll probably come back. These guys are going to get shot to pieces, so I don't have to worry about them. They're shattered. Everyone's shattered, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hooray! We did it, guys. We did it. We saved the day. Wait, no, we're doing the other thing, aren't we? Yes, we ruined the day. Decisive victory. Hooray! Uh, what next? Ooh, loot. Lovely. I love that the chest looks like a mimic. It's very, very spooky scary. Alright. What are we going to do? I think loot and raise. I want more money again. Manish Thrall again. We already got one of them. Some beastmen and mongrels with minor mutations. 
Uh, though they live their pathetic lives amongst men, their true loyalty is to the herd. Karox Man Rippers. I really do like Karox Man Rippers. That'll be nice to add. For sure. More brutish than other bestial herds, the Man Rippers can resist uh, the charge of the most colossal opponents. Very cool. Just anti large bestigals. Like, what would you want? Um. I'm feasting upon man. Better raiding income. And better money from uh, from raising settlements as well. Which is nice. I like that too. Uh, yeah, let's do that. One of these days, we will start going down the red line. But not yet. Not yet. One day. But not this day. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. And yeah, we're getting, we're getting um, replenishment now. Is that because the tech just doesn't discriminate? Or what? Like, I have no idea. Is it the... Ca nope, Chaos Corruption's not even that high. I really don't get how replenishment works most of the time in this game. It depends on the faction, different stances, and it just never gives you a breakdown. I just wish it would tell me exactly what was affecting replenishment at any one time. It's very annoying. It's a real pet peeve of mine. It's just one thing they just never bother to break down. Everything else... Well, I say everything else. Most things get broken down in... Uh, in, in Total War Warhammer. I was trying to think, does it... It does actually break it down. It does break down replenishment in Three Kingdoms. Like, Three Kingdoms is way better for just giving people the information. And, like, telling people why. Like, sure. Going, oh, I get extra replenishment here. Great. I'll have better replenishment going forwards. But, like, just seeing how much that applies and why else is affected replenishment, it's just good to see. You know, even just the base amount. Like, what's the percentage of the base amount? What is it? Like, it just doesn't tell you anything. Anyway, I'm going to put up research rate again. Uh, and then I'll go back to this. Because that's nothing I actually need in a hurry. That lower um, attrition. Yeah, it's, it's really the next things that we need. So yeah, we'll get this so we can get it quicker. Because research rate is only going to be on 101% once that's done. So yeah, let's worship the ruinous powers some more. Yeah. Let's do it. Also, we can afford to build again. Uh, five surplus we're currently on. Do I put this up? Technically, this will speed things up, because it does put up um, horde growth by one. So, technically, that would speed things up in the long run. And it would give me access to uh, the Pelt Totem. Reducing upkeep for Gores and Ungores, and giving me access to Bestigores would be pretty good. Yeah, we're going to get the Bloody Lair. Also, I really want to get Centicles with Throwing Axes and then Centicles with Great Weapons. Because all the Centicles we currently have I can go, honestly. They can all go. Uh, I know there's a bunch of other buildings I said I'd really like. Like the Mountain of Blades, for instance. You know what? You know what? Screw it. I'm actually going to go for the Mountain of Blades first. I'm actually going to go for that first. Because just that's a big bonus to everything in the fact that I've just neglected to do any battle upgrades for, um, for uh, Kazrak. It's just, yeah. We'll get that out of the way. So, praise the power of chaos and revel in its bounties. Ooh, speaking of bounties, more slime is ascendant. Okay, this is the big, the big one. Uh, usurping the sun's revered place in the firmament. So this is going to be, yeah, entirely all the replenishment and whatever else. Uh, how does that last? Six turns plus ten horde growth. I do really like that. But we do have to forego any replenishment rate. Which is sort of insane. Um, but I'm still kind of tempted, because that horde growth is a big deal. Yeah, screw it. We're going Endless Herd. And we're just going to doss about for a bit. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So, uh, let's go into Raiding Stance now, shall we? Yeah. Let's. Good. And... Getting a bit of cash again. Hooray! And I love that it actually tells you what uh, what's happening here. So we're on Solar Eclipse currently. The Dark Moon is of great importance to the Beastmen and a chance for any beastman leader to guide their warband. Big old plus 15 chaos corruption, which is very nice. Place to be very corrupt in no time. So, good news, good news. Uh, and then back to tech. So we'll start heading down this way, get more income from raising and whatnot. Good. Moving on. Technology research. Should the Warherds please their dark masters, they are blessed with a dark fortitude, which is the uh, attrition. Okay, could attack uh, Fussberg, or we could just keep profiting from it while we build stuff. I like the old profit and build, uh, although that's really nice too, but I need the whole growth. We will definitely want to pile a flash at some point though. 
for sure. I mean, who doesn't want a pile of flesh? I certainly want to, wouldn't want to live in a world where I don't own a pile of flesh. Anyway, so we should be able to get through um, a bunch of buildings nice and quickly, which is very cool. Hang on a minute. Why? Does this have upkeep or something? What's the deal with that? Oh, oh, I'm in a different stance. I'm an idiot. I'm not, I'm not raiding anymore. <laughs> it's like, why am I suddenly poor? Oh yeah, because I'm spending all the money. Well, I'm dumb. Uh, right, let's have a look. Yeah, let's attack these guys now. I mean, yeah, I've still got a few turns before I can replenish again, but I doubt I'm going to lose many people right now. Okay, good. And... Yeah, I'm going to raise. I need to keep topping up my money. The Magister, or whatever name a cult leader abides by, is a powerful, covert agent of chaos, tending to flocks of the corrupted within the mortal lands. Uh, horde building construction cost down by 8%, which is really good. That's exactly what I wanted, really. I wanted more money to build, and that allows me to build more, so that's perfect. Slug skip. Ew. The ruinous powers grant many gifts to their obedient servants. Mutant disfigurements of flesh and might. Shadow hide. Crown of Thorns. This is cool stuff. Um, yeah, I'm happy with all the stuff we've got down. Oh, although that gives us the top amount of income from raiding. Oh, I want that now. Nah, I'm going to go for uh, the Vigor loss reduction, I think. Yeah, and then we'll do the Cavalry units, uh, charge bonus and melee attack bonus. That's hugely powerful. Is we haven't needed them yet. Like, we're still winning everything. But now, we're, we're trying to get into steamroll territory. So, you know. Um, let's level that up again. I want cooldown to be a lot quicker. So I can just keep using Flock of Doom. Good. Good stuff. And then, I think the plan will be to head over uh, to... You know what? Actually, I think we will head to Roche. Then Brockle. Then El El Eldarkson. And then we'll head north-ish. North-ish. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so yeah, that is the that is the Reich, and then the River Talabek. Weird. Huh. Wait, oh, is that the Talabek? Yeah, okay, that's the River Talabek. Okay, because yeah, there's Hockland. So that river obviously curls around here. And there's well, that's Western Hockland. That's Southern. But then that's Eastern Hockland. Okay. That's the Middle Mountains. So yeah, this is definitely slanted, but in weird ways. It seems to be that, like, over here, that way is north. But then, for, as far as this is concerned, that way is north, it seems. It's really been twisted, and yeah, it certainly seems that way. But alright, not going to make sense of it. it. It doesn't matter. We're playing a chaos campaign at the end of the day. So, up is left, right is east, it's just whatever. Commander of the Herd. In the herd, strength is the only qualifier. A foolish but admirable beast challenged you for control of the herd and lost. He is at your mercy now, Lord. Do you wish to remove his, this weak one's horns, and in so doing, remove the threat, or kill him to prove a point? So, um, yeah, so the horns are basically what makes people, um, what makes beastmen impressive. If they have big horns, then they're seen as important. If they have little horns, they're seen as, like, no better than a mutant. Um, frankly. Ungors, they have the tiniest horns, they're the lowest rank. You know, they're the least bestial. So, anyway. So removing a, a potential Beast Lord's horns means that although he's as brutish as he's always been, he'll never be respected. So, he can never rise to power because he doesn't have the horns. And you need him. No one's going to follow someone without any horns. So, uh, that gives us some more bestial rage, but it seems like we have plenty already. Uh, leadership, do we even need that? Probably not. But screw it, let's take his horns. Removing this rival Beast Lord's horns means he can never again challenge you, and in sparing his life, you have earned the respect of your forces. Well, alright then. Do they respect mercy? That seems a weird... Seems a weird one, but alright. Don't see why not. Um, That's not my army. That's my army. So, I might hop over here. You know what? I'll just take, I'll just take the road. Uh, I'm going to go into raiding stance as I start wandering over here. It's not going to help me over here, but it will over here. 
Okay. And we're starting to earn some cash. Hooray! When are we getting our uh, replenishment back? A couple more turns. A couple more turns. Until then, though, um, yeah. Yeah, our, our horde growth is brilliant. Big fan. The enemy within. Huh. Yeah, okay, love it. Uh, the enemy within is a, um, like, a classic uh, Warhammer Fantasy roleplay campaign. Um, I think it was... I think it first came about in first edition, but basically every edition has created the Enemy Within campaign. Um, fourth edition, which is the current edition, uh, they're doing a huge limited edition one, which is crazy. So, and they're doing like companion books to every um, every campaign book, and the companion books are amazing. I've got uh, at the moment it's only the uh, Enemy Within Part One, Enemy in Shadows. That's the only one to come out so far. And the companion is amazing. It's so good. So much fluff. I love it. In fact, probably a lot of the stuff that I'm going to mention um, during this, like, this whole campaign, I, I will probably be mentioning stuff from that book. Chances are. Because there's a lot of great fluff in there. But anyway, so it's a nice little reference to the to uh, the the fantasy roleplay audience, which is really nice. I love these little things. Anyway, nobles of the Empire worship the ruinous powers, carrying favour in hope of a heretical boon. Should we allow these undeserving fools to court the attention of the Dark Gods, or should we put an end to their ignorant wants? Uh, allow them to continue? More chaos. Yay. Or, kill them. Uh, blood of an Empire Lord. Uh, they'll ruin the corruption, but gives more bestial rage. I'm gonna let them do it. I'm gonna let them do it. Boop. Good stuff. And yes, the, the enemy within is about um, is about the enemy within. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we're just gonna go for Roche and then we'll move around. I think. Uh Mittel Mittelmund. There is have a good day. And wow. You know what? Cult of Ulrich have travelled. They are everywhere. I I've gotta check something here. Are they a war? <laughs> With Are there any war with Beastman? I don't really understand how Middenheim is doing so badly. Oh, I say that. I think they have basically everything up in the north. They still have 14 settlements. But yeah, the cult of Ulrich seems to be doing ludicrously well. They're all the way up here, too. Do they have the northern wasteland as well? Possibly. At this point, it'd be nice to have a second army. So I can go in two directions at once. Though, um, I don't think that's going to work. But we'll start heading this way anyway. So, Rolf Gausser in Roche. Yeah, I think we can just auto resolve that. We'll get replenishment in a second. Good, and yes, let's keep raising. I need to keep my money up. Because we're spending a lot on buildings and things at the moment. Bray Shaman's familiar. Another familiar. Still can't equip it to anyone. We already have a familiar. So, as a speaker of spells and caster of magics, a Bray Shaman can summon a magical servant to aid him in his dark king duties. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, Winston next, I think. And uh, Bokel here is actually part of uh, Midland. Interesting. There's Gorsal. You guys remember Gorsal? In fact, this is interesting. So Gorsal is here uh, as a faction, as a like a settlement, um, as a province uh, capital, as a provincial capital. And of course, Gorsal actually made it onto the Mortal Empires campaign map. When they added some more wasteland, for, like wasteland um, territories, I don't think Gorsal was a territory in Warhammer One, was it? I think it was just Midland, and then right up in the north there was something, or was it just Midland and Gorsal? I can't remember. I can't remember which ones they added. Maybe Gorsal was always there. I forget. If anyone can remember, or if you can be bothered to check, because I actually can't be bothered to check. I haven't looked at the Warhammer One campaign map in a long time. <laughs> anyway, faction destroyed. The Skull Takers. Uh, they wanted peace with us. Well, they wanted non-aggression pact with us. Didn't make much of a difference, apparently. Skull takers have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. So, what are you guys doing? I wonder. They're at war with Middenheim. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. So I don't see him anywhere. You know? I don't know if that's their doing. You know, Mittelmund was their doing. Not a clue. Oh, well. Um, so... God, everything's suddenly quite expensive, huh? Yeah, eight. Eight to get. Uh, that's only four, though. I think Bloodied Lair will be next. I think we'll get a Bloodied Lair next. That sounds good to me. 
Oh, we're just in Beastman Ambush. I meant to be in Raiding Stance. Never mind. Technology researched. Uh, most bountiful is the herdstone inscribed with the most fell of runes and doused in hated enemy blood. You. Uh, Chaos Corruption's nice and everything, but uh, yeah, getting some cash now may be worthwhile. Although you have scored a victory, most vicious enemy reinforcements are on their way and will doubtless overrun this position. There is precious little time. Do we loot the wealth from the corpses or defile their shrines? There is not enough time for both. <laughs> That's fantastic. Let's loot their wealth. Wonderful. And yeah, just ah, oh, damn you, Gorsel. Where? It's all right, all right, hassle this. All right, let's go to Gorsel first. Let's go to Gorsel first. I say first. Uh, I'll have a look at here. That's going to cost us a fair bit of cash, but we can afford it. We can afford it. So, I need twenty-five percent. And, oh, we just met the uh, Skrinderkin war, uh, war herd. So, friendly tribe encountered the stench, uh, the stench of bloodlust, sweat, and filth grows stronger here, Kazrak. A cacophonous caucus of cloven ones, fuming and snorting, as, <laughs> and as desirous for battle as we are. They look upon us as allies, partners on the hunt. We should take advantage of this. Cool. You right there, Gruck? You right there, mate? Uh, I didn't get a mission. I didn't get a mission, did I? No, I didn't. Hey, I've still got this one. Gotta go, go raid Bokal, which we will do. Which we will do at some point. We will get there eventually. Um, okay, so let's build that. And I should put up my... Yep, my replenishment's nice and high now, because I'm in camping again. Okay. Let's move on. Technology research. All servants of the ruinous powers, horned or no, crave the gaze of the dark gods. Or, um, to, to quote a famous philosopher, uh, notice me senpai. Also, get with the motorbikes. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's another motorbike going past. It's been happening all the time lately. It's very annoying. I, I think it's just one of my neighbours has got a motorbike. It's very annoying. Because, <laughs> yeah, I can always hear it with my headphones on. So I always worry it's in, uh, in my recordings, and I'd rather not have a bunch of background noise in my recordings. Um... Okay, that's going to give us just mad replenishment. We already have mad replenishment, so it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, and by the way, we're, it's Ascendant again. It's it's another Eclipse, which is happening all the time, which is very bizarre. I don't know if it's because we keep getting our, like, our bestial rage has remained really high, and that affects this. I don't know. It could be. It could be. It might actually take into account how much you've destroyed. I really don't know. Um, none of these are great. None of these are things I want. I don't want people to be tired, but run faster, like... That's not useful. None of this is good. I don't know what any of this. Although recruitment cost up is fine because I'm not recruiting anything, and then just extra experience. Oh, it's just unit experience for all. Wait, for all unit recruits. Yeah, so they'll be on tier six. Yeah, uh, I'll do. I'll do cost of skill. Screw it. So let's try that, and then let's crack on a bit. So yeah, things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. Let's go straight to Gorsal, shall we? It doesn't look um, it doesn't look too good currently. No, oh, oh, I would like to keep raiding. Yeah, because we're getting six hundred for raiding now, which is actually quite good. So I think I'm going to do that one more time, and then we'll attack. Yeah. All right, more tech. Uh, I should go for the speed. Speed is nice. Uh, extra melee attack, just a huge jump in melee attack, frankly. And missile damage, which is nice. Because that's, um, for all units, that's going to be centicles with throwing axes, too. Hmm. Not sure. I mean, that puts up horde growth, which is great. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do hives of pestilence. The gores gather hives of pestilent corruption, uh fostered by the beast lords as recruiting grounds for their herds. Ew. Hello, Black Pit Tribes. How you doing? Um, alright. You know, if they if they don't want to fight me, I'm cool with that. They can help me kill man. Rank gained for Kazrak. Aw, oh, Kazrak, you shouldn't have. Let's get you... 
Let's get you fueled by blood. That's right. Let's get everyone fueled by blood. Even when not feasting, the beastmen taste blood on their lips, smell it on their fur, and want for more. They're weird. I don't like They're very strange. They're a weird bunch. Um. Okay, let's tackle some. Which should be quite easy, apparently. Uh, do I just auto resolve this? I am tempted. I am tempted just to auto resolve this. Eckhart Lightdorf. Yep, you can you can just die in the background. Not worth my time. Another eight grand. Perfect. So, best your range from animosity. Lovely. That's very nice for unsated bloodlust. So I guess this just goes up by one. Generally, right? That's nice. I think. So the carnage of the battlefield is not enough for this one. He needs to be he needs the competitive violence of the herdstone to feel fulfilled. Ooh, gift of chaos, extra armor piercing damage for a signed unit, that's really nice too. The gifts of chaos are many and varied, each bestowing a twisted boon or warped blessing from the ruinous ones in return for the recipient's service. Cool. And you get to level up. Uh, it's gonna be a long time before we get that razor core chariot, but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we'll get it eventually. Alright, so it's going to be uh, uh, Deanster next, I believe. Okay, moving on. And, oh, good. Good, Slard has got a bunch of experience for doing nothing. That's perfect. Rewards of Ruin, pleased by the terrible deeds sown into, uh, sown by the bastard sons of Chaos, the Ruinous Powers roared one of their behorned champions with a boon. Excellent. Good for you guys, I'm proud of you. Uh, raiding time. Good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, get some replenishment. Nothing major, but enough to deal with. Yeah, like a basically non-existent garrison. Moving on. And that's Marienburg, so we don't have to worry about that for now. Brayherd cools. A rival beast lord has called Brayherd to war and demands that you join his ranks. Will you listen to his uh, this cool, or will you forge on alone without them? So if we answer the cool... Uh, puts down Horde Growth. I see. In answering the call to form a Bray Herd, many of your warriors head off to fight, reducing the herd's numbers for some time. However, those who remain behind redouble their efforts to make up for the lack of numbers. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Basically, our troops that sod off are replaced by troops just in our herd. So, uh, so yeah, growth goes up less. Uh, disregard the cool. Just ignore it. Uh, we don't really need, actually, minus 40% upkeep for all units. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> we're absolutely doing that. And we still have some growth, so that's fine. But uh, we're suddenly making a ton of money. So that's really good news, actually. That's a nice way to just earn a bunch of money for a while. For 10 turns. That's lovely. It will mean 10 turns of basically no growth, though, which kind of sucks. But um, we're getting some growth. But yeah, it means we'll have a bunch of money again once we can um, build a bunch of stuff. Because it's getting quite difficult to build stuff at the moment for money and growth, so may as well tick off the money, right? So, armor piercing damage plus five. Uh, I'm going to give that to the uh, Black Horns Ravagers, because that plus five is going to be well, plus five times 120, um, rather than plus five, you know, the 12 or something. So, it's a bigger, much bigger bonus for them. Uh, so, yeah, we can just sort of resolve that. No need to dilly-dally shilly-shally. So, that's all good. And, once again, um, we are actually making some pretty good money right now. Maybe I will just... Maybe I will just uh, keep growth up this way. Yeah, I'm going to keep growth up this way. Manage Thrall, another one. I guess we are destroying all of the settlements. So, as soon as we run in, you know, into the... Wherever these managed Thralls are hanging out, you know, into their houses, suddenly we smell beastmen, and they're there murdering their families or whatever. So it's all good, you know? So they just end up in our herd. Uh, after we've taken, you know, destroyed their sort of weird pretend home. So, Butchers of Kalkengard. I do love the Butchers of Kalkengard. Because they're minotaurs that regenerate. So, what more do you want? It's ludicrous. So, the towns of man are but larders of flesh for the followers of, of the ways of Ragush, Ravager of Kalkengard. That is despicable and I love it. So, level 9 now. Good for you. Um, Transformation of Kadon is a lot of fun, because summoning a manticore is a giggle. Curse of Anra here lowers uh, speed and accuracy. Wow, I forgot that that was all it did. That sucks. 
Sorry, it's a big, like, melee attack debuff nowadays. Like, it's so much better. So, yeah, Transformation Kadon, then. It's the most... It's the biggest giggle. And then we'll get Earthing Power Drain and Arcane Conduit eventually. Uh, I would love Bane of Sigmar there. Just because it's called Bane of Sigmar. Hero action success chance up does nothing, but I want to be a Bane of Sigmar. Screw that guy. Uh, so, Bray Wizard. And it's actually being equipped to someone. That's nice. So, in Thrall to the Ruinous Powers is he, his very essence, flayed and consumed in return for the darkest knowledge. So, presumably this guy used to be an actual wizard and has been mutated into some horrible, you know, bestial boy. So that's fun. Uh, skill selections have made this character a highly effective spellcaster. Oh no, he is the Bray Wizard. It's a trait. Silly me. I thought he was another, thought he was another follower. But yeah, okay. It's just saying that he's not a Bray Shaman, he's a Bray Wizard. It's even better than a Shaman. He's a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. You should rename him Harry. Um, fueled by blood. Perfect. In fact... Slowry. Larry. Shouldn't be Potter, right? Because Potter isn't, uh, isn't particularly great. So, Slarry Slaughter. There we go. Perfect. You're a wizard, Slarry. It's a great name, Slarry. Old, old Slarry Slaughter. Brilliant. I think Emil's about to declare war on us. No, he wants some money. Yeah, how about you sod off? Uh, we just discovered Grook. <gasps> the ambusher. I'm pretty sure that was out of the Bray herd that was kicking about before. I don't know where he is. And another quest issued. The Dark Mail. Awesome. We need to recruit a Bray Shaman. That's very annoying because we already have one. Gutted. We're going to have to build the building that lets us recruit a Bray Shaman. Then maybe get rid of him and then recruit him back. That's irritating. This is Kazrak's time. He embodies the primal force of the forest. He grows tired of Beast Lord uh, Graktar's rule, a dominance only Graktar himself seems to recognize. A lame animal should be put out of its misery, even if the pathetic creature fails to realize it's for the best. Despite Kazrak's standing, Graktar remains a powerful force among those still loyal to him. A head-on collision may not be the best tactic. Consult with the Bray Shaman on how to pierce Gaktar's, uh, Graktar's hide and make him easy prey. Well, alright then. I mean, I do want the Dark Mail. The Dark Mail's great because it, it's like, um, it has like an anti-armor debuff, which is very cool. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to charge this guy. Because our army's fine. Oh, we'll have everybody joining, huh? Nope, it's an ambush. <laughs> oh, Bernard Hergiger, you poor little sod. Uh, right, so guys, uh, yeah, we're going to do this battle. This could be the last battle of the day. We'll see. We'll see. Might be able to fit in another one of the surrounding boys. We do have um, uh, Lightning Strike. So even if we don't get the ambush, we can still pick them off one by one. So, All right. Ooh, spooky. I'm glad we finally got a, uh, a nice uh, uh, beast path battle, because it is really cool. It's the ancient forest of the old world. Just twisted beyond all recognition. So cool. Absolutely love it. Because, I mean, I don't think any forest should be full of postules, you know? It's a mess. So, they, they do actually have quite a few empire knights here. Quite a few. Other cav here. So, you lot are going to line up there. I was going to let you start shooting pistol ears. And we're going to get all of you lot in here. We're going to try and get in as quickly as possible. Just try and whittle them down. Uh, spearmen are also going to run in there for the anti-large and to actually just take some hits. And uh, everyone else can run in over there. So I'm actually going to do this in three stages. There we go. So Brayherd can start flocking most doomedly. Really? I'm just gonna... Come on, guys. What are you playing at? So, uh, these guys are gonna get wrecked. Very quickly, I reckon. And let's buff the Midasaurs. Okay, that's all going well. Love it. Yeah, whittle them down, boys. Whittle them down. Some good whittling. I'm not sure about this, this lot, though. 
That could be problematic. Alright, this seems to be going okay. Oh, fuck a doom, please. And yeah, they're all having a very bad day. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, you guys start shooting those Empire Knights. Uh, yeah, not broken yet. And how are things looking over here? Oh, fine. Fine, I guess. Okay. What are you guys doing? It's, it's cause you're on, yeah. They're still grouped, and sometimes grouped units are a bit stupid when you tell them to attack a single guy. Which, you know, fine, fine. I just, I don't know, forgot. God, I love the look of Angors. So cool. Cloven ones indeed. All right, let's get out of here. Decisive victory. All right, good stuff. Uh, we're gonna gobble them up fun time. Good stuff. Yeah, you better get out of here. Another Manish Thrall. There are so many beastmen just living amongst us, huh? So, Sword of Swift Slaying, which we have equipped. I mean, fair enough, that's, that's how you want to be. Uh, I'm not going to complain. So, a Sword of Silver that never dims. When used in anger, the sword arm of its owner darts forth before an opponent can even raise their guard. Interesting for um, something, you know, sort of chaos fuel to be using silver. Uh, silver, very much a sort of, you know, stopping evil kind of thing. You know, especially, um, especially ghosts and the like. Hmm. I just realised that Slug Skin is, is weapon strength for the Lord's army. I'm an idiot. I, I just thought that that was, I had literally just thought that was for, um, Kazrak. And I was still thinking of getting it, which is sort of crazy. Uh, we'll get the large vigor loss reduction, though. Because if people don't tire out, then they don't lose their, you know, meager armor. They keep their melee uh, skills nice and high. They're just fantastic. Uh, so what I am going to do is we're going to get rid of them. I don't need to get rid of all of them. <laughs> get rid of them. Because I actually want Colox Man Rippers and the Butchers of Kalkengard in this army. Because I realize I need more armor piercing. I need to be able to deal with things like Empire Knights without having to swarm them with literally everything. If I was fighting a 20 stack, it would be a bit of a nightmare to deal with them. You know, a lot of Empire Knights amongst the army, to be honest. But as long as I've got really good armor piercing anti-large over here, and I've just got way more armor piercing um, on my Minotaurs for sort of counter charging, then, yeah, then I'm comfortable. Then I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable. So attack them, he's going to run away because he's a jerk. Come back here, sod. All right, well, they will run off, um, but our boy Fuda, uh, Foul, Foul Dart Grave Shaker is gonna gonna run to help us out, and hopefully we'll be able to take these guys down. I might be able to wipe out most of these guys if I just attack the settlement. To be honest, so it's all good. Okay, let's hit end turn one more time. See what happens. Okay, he's just he's just getting out of dodge. Oh, he's bumped into another army. That's hilarious. And they're all running off. Okay, yeah, we should be able to get rid of Winston and head up to raid Vocal in a second. Ambush are discovered. I think Absolutely they might have encountered not. him too. No. It's hard to tell. Anyway. So, poor Grook getting spotted like that. Uh, yeah, so let's just take Winston. Boop. Sorry, Emil, put cover. Sorry, mate. I do want more money. I would kind of like more money. I want to keep my savings up. Especially because our upkeep has gone up tremendously because of the uh, Butchers of Kalkengard and the um, uh, Corrix Man Rippers. No. So yeah, we're going to head up here and raid in a bit. Alright, so guys, this is where we're going to end the episode. But uh, we've made progress. Like, just so much of this... <laughs> just so much of the world of man has been rent asunder. I love it. And yeah, and B-dubs hasn't even bothered to come and deal with us yet. By B-dubs, I mean Boris Toddbringer, of course. Anyway. Um, yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. i got to say, I'm loving all the monuments we're erecting as well. Sort of a dark, twisted gods we happen to be uh, worshipping today. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.